I'm Eleanor Alberga. I'm a composer, a pianist, and sometime conductor. And today I am conducting my piece, Nightscape. <laughs> This piece originated because I was approached by the London Mozart players uh, as a commission and they had a joint commissioner in the Horniman Museum in South London. It worked very well as a match as commissioners because the Mozart players wanted a piece to match the Mozart 13 wind, the Grand Partita, and the Horniman Museum had all these ancient and some ethnic instruments as well. So I visited the museum and it was fascinating. They had all these instruments and they had basset horns that were in the Mozart. So I decided to make use of that and to, in fact, use exactly the same orchestration. It was written in 1993, quite a while ago. There was one performance, we didn't have many rehearsals, and uh, performance went okay, but I, I just thought, oh, I want to revise this now, so I put it away, and it's been in our attic for over 25 years, in fact. I was so excited when the Academy got in touch, and in fact, we've worked together on this piece. This is the third uh, event for the piece, and it, it's thrilling. It grows and grows. This piece is quite personal, really, in that the Mozart serenade is about night music. It's supposed to be played outside at night. And I immediately thought, well, I want to do something that I know about. So I called on many of my childhood memories of growing up in Jamaica and also some recent memories. So I'll tell you the titles of each movement. There are four movements. The first one is Sundown, which is exactly about that. The sun goes down and it happens to be one of my favorite times of day and very exciting in the Caribbean because it's so colorful, the sun and the oranges and purples and reds. I hasten to say this is not a childhood memory, but more recent memories on the veranda with either a gin and tonic or a rum punch and relaxing for the rest of the day. There's a cool breeze blowing. It's just this wonderful, calming time of day for me. So that's sundown. The second movement, I can't remember the title because there's so many words in it, so I'll have to read it. Cicadas, tree frogs, crickets, party goers, geckos, dogs, burglars, and other nocturnal creatures. So it's all about the nighttime sounds one hears in Jamaica. There's just this background of a wash of sound going on all the time. Inevitably, in Jamaica, there would be stray dogs. <laughs> So they would form gangs, at, well, this is how I imagine it, they form gangs at night and they get together. So one starts barking and the whole lot starts barking with them. So there's a part in, in this movement called the Dog's Chorus. So that's what that's about. Then the third movement is Into the Arms of Morpheus. Now, in my time when I was thinking I would revise it just recently, I decided to put a question mark next to that because there's so much cacophony going on that I thought perhaps some people wouldn't find it uh, restful. But it's about, of course, Morpheus is the god of dreams and the god of sleep. So it's about actually falling asleep. So this is a slow movement uh, most of the time, but then a lot of activity starts. Uh, dogs start again. Then the final movement is called Bro Fox and the Dancing Ghosts. 
Now, this is very, very personal. It has to do with family. When I was a child, I remembered that my mother used to sing me this lullaby and it wasn't very conducive to sleep because it was saying, if you don't fall asleep, the fox will come and catch you. So it went, go to bed, my little piccanini, brother fox will catch you if you don't. Slumber in the arms of your own mummy, darling. Fa la 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 la. So I incorporated that, that, that melody comes later on. In fact, it's laced all the way through the movement. It's, it's based on fragments of it. And then at the end, it comes in its full version. Nightscape, I mean, it's just a complete escapism as far as I'm concerned, playing it. From the moment that, that Eleanor sort of explained what it was about, immediately there were sort of images there in my mind. I never get bored of it because there's always something new to discover and to hear. I think that's a real key to a good work that it always seems to offer you something else every time you play it. It's so exciting to have a companion piece to, to the Mozart. In a way, the starting point seems to be the same. It's about transportation somehow. It's about taking people to a different world. With Mozart, you have this sumptuous feast of rich Mozartian depth and beauty. And with Nightscape, you have a sumptuous feast of something completely different. Because of that, the two pieces complement each other wonderfully. It's like Mozart, but for now, somehow. Fantastic music is being written at the moment. Uh, it's not just a question of always playing Mozart and Brahms, which we all love, but there is a future in classical music, there really is. I really hope that, first of all, anyone listening to the piece will really enjoy it and get, get some joie de vivre out of it. It's personal to me, but it doesn't necessarily have to carry that story to everyone who listens to it. When I write music or when I listen to music, I always think you go wherever that music takes you. So I hope it would appeal to people generally anyway without even knowing the story behind it. <laughs>